Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your 2019 year reading. I won't be taking um, personal readings until like after January 13th. But if you're interested after that, my email where you can hit me up and my PayPal are listed below. You know, in case you want to do some donating too, I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to get back on my drawings too. I am going to try to upload like drawing ones again. It's just been taking me a while to get back into it. I need to find inspiration and it's hard to do, you know, especially when everything's just like and crazy and unbalanced and shit and chaotic. It seems like what's going on with you with the four of wands and the six of pentacles both reverse, possibly even with Libra, since the scales are in that photo, right? Someone not being kind to another and experiencing chaos from it, maybe? Or the chaos is causing somebody to do that to, to a situation or someone else. Or maybe you're just trying to avoid it. Oh, there it is again. Yeah, there are regrets about like how this home life was because... Hmm. That actually showed up upright. What's this one? Hmm. I don't know. Alright, just the fact that it showed up upright, it's like... They want a new beginning because they regret what happened and they want this to change now. Because these were upside down, but then I flipped them. It's like... Hell a message, Cancer. But yeah, we're going to go into your year. We're going to see how everything goes for you, right? And we want the best scenario. Because you all could be some moody bastards, I swear to Christ, right? So we're going to start with this, and then we'll do some more with the uh, pro deck I got. Here's some indecision you are leaving 2018 with. Some indecisions about stuff, maybe. Or even a final decision. That leaves you feeling like you still don't know what the hell to do. Because you're still blindfolded. Like, you came to some sort of decision that wasn't a major decision. And now you're just like, oh god, what do I do? I should tell my husband that I want, like, some wraps. Here's the first quarter. You made the decision. You didn't know how to decide it, but you did make it. You chose one world over the other, I feel like. For the first quarter. Shit. Okay, I got two. You got the second quarter with some strength. Holding yourself back. I'm not sure you got strength, but like, there might be a wrong perspective in the, um, or a lie in the third quarter. Maybe you learned something that isn't true, or maybe there's something you thought was correct wasn't in the third quarter of the year. And some injustice in the fourth quarter. Actual fuck, Cancer. Okay. Let me look at this, right? So the first quarter, some decision came. Right? Over here, this could be a Leo, but it's like someone's keeping up their strength. Like, showing that they have more power over the lion. But then some idea comes in that just isn't right, and then there's some bad karma. Because of it all. Like, in the end? Which is like... How? How is it cancer that there's always something going on with you guys when I read for you? Like, that is my major problem when I read cards. I read a lot of times what people need to hear, whether they want to hear it or not. There is some misery or torment you were coming out of. It's slowly but surely ending with the Ten of Wands reversed when it came to the decision in the first quarter. And in the second quarter, once I find it, because there was 
Oh, not in the second quarter, but the second part of it is because there's a loss of control, probably an Aries involved, right? That's kind of odd. You made a decision to end torment because there is a loss of control? Or you wanted to be a little bit more stricter with control? That's in the first quarter of the year. And then we got the decision being made again. About some... Two, eight... Okay, so obviously... What? Okay, let me look at this cancer. You came to a decision to end something because there was a lack of control, I feel like, right? Major Arcana. Uh, could be an Aries, but I also feel like it's the vibration. But in the second quarter, as you're, I feel like, demonstrating strength, some other decision comes up in your head about uh, some sort of fucked up idea or mentality or thinking or even a lie you made a decision about a lie or or you will i mean because this is a prediction for 2019 right but it's like hmm that is awkward as fuck like because because you're not coming to some mental idea over here, um, you're doing it over here as you're holding back on something, as you're demonstrating how strong you are. Something comes up that just isn't right. Something comes up that's off, right? That's the second quarter of the month. For the third quarter, when it comes to this, it's like, okay, this is like a continuation almost. Like, like this leads into the third quarter of the month. This is, because that's like at the very end. That's like, um... June, right? Oh, two more. There is somebody manifesting something for the future. Someone's lying about that? What? 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 Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Cancer. <laughs> You guys are so entertaining to me. Like, I love you guys, but it's like, Jesus. Ah, uh, I guess you can t Okay, so... Someone's maintaining this idea. Okay, someone's demonstrating that, like... I, I feel like... Okay, I'm getting this vibe right. Like, like, um... Someone's demonstrating how strong they are. That's the, the idea they've decided to take on. That they decided. Or, to deal... With this sort of liar, fucked up thinking, right? But that fucked up thinking still leads to the situation where someone is manifesting a future? Or maybe they have the wrong idea about why they should manifest the future. I won't know until I get the lesson, right? But that's, yeah, that's almost what it seems like. It seems like someone has the wrong idea about how to manifest, like, things that come up. Or maybe someone is looking at the past the wrong way. And, realize, and possibly realizing that they were the person who alchemized this or sorcered this I don't know I, I know I'm saying all of those wrong because those words don't exist but it's like someone manifested possibly some past events to happen maybe or didn't realize they were doing it until they looked back and then taken into consideration of the future since it's looking this way towards the final um quarter of the year which is some bad karma which I really hope is not happening to you. Because that'd be terrible. Let's see what the final quarter of the year. I could almost take that one. I'm not going to. Let's see what's going on. What's the last two cards for the final quarter? Here's one. Page of Cups! Someone who is earthy. Still immature like even going like ah, all over the place just get ready to get your attention could be you um cancer someone might have been emotional someone might not have really thought but you're being earnest with your emotions and you're definitely going to express them out possibly dealing with some bad karma that came up or some negative situation of injustice you might come up and be emotional about that maybe not control yourself the way you should And there's the Empress. 
having some Taurus energy, being nurturing and very kind, um, using your intuition. Hmm. So I guess it doesn't really add in the bad, on a bad note, but it's like someone finally comes to the point where you're just like, okay, I understand. They, I'm going to love you now. It seems like. Yeah, someone finally under, it's almost like someone finally understands that something was wrong. You know, because like, it's obviously here and here. Like, it's like someone was stuck in a decision. But it's like someone figured out there was wrong. They opened themselves up in the most childish way ever to be like, I love you, I'm sorry. That's so cute. And I mean, like, it, not even in a sorry, it's just like they, they decided to be like a very mothering figure, which fits you, Cancer, because, you know... You guys are the mother figures of the Zodiac, you know, Cap Capricorn, completely opposite, right? Like, I am essentially the father sign, which is stern and strict and expects you to learn your lesson. For Cancer, I think that, like, you just want people to come to you regardless and love you the way you love them. Then, here in the middle, you're coming into 2019 as the Page of Coin. Cancer, or, yeah, Capricorn, as I was talking about before, Taurus, Virgo. You want to express yourself. You want to deliver messages. Maybe you have, like, good fortune, wealth. Maybe you want to just rub shit in somebody's face, too. That's possible, because we'll do that shit. <laughs> Proudly, though, only because we know it'll irk you just a little bit. Not like it'll always work on us, though, because it's just like, why are you telling me for? I'm just doing it because I know it'll bother you, but why are you doing it to me for? Because I know it's not because, like, you're trying to make me jealous, is it? Like, that could, if that could be the vibe, then you're trying to make somebody jealous on purpose, but, like, I don't know. It might work for you depending on who you're doing it to. I think that's funny as shit, though. Ooh, all four came up, so here are lessons. Definitely some reminiscing about the past when it comes to the situation in the first quarter where someone just, like, made a decision to end something because they didn't feel like they were in control of something or they weren't in control of the situation or with people and they're reminiscing about past maybe like good times at that um with this uh holding yourself back until you come to some sort of idea about like maybe a bad mindset or some sort of inaccuracy lie something like that maybe you're being the king of cups trying to look at things without emotion i feel like he's just staring off dead face dead ass like i feel nothing i'm dead inside you know just like cutting himself off from all emotions he's not indulging in his cup he's not indulging in any of the other ones it's like that's the lesson with that one it's just like are you really looking at this in a way that's controlling your emotions or are you dipping your feet in i think that's the lesson remember the good times and you can't always like go off emotion I think sometimes you need to cut that shit off in order to figure out what's real or figure out what the right thing to do is maybe down here in the third quarter or someone I really feel like someone feel like someone manifested something in the past to uh Possibly go bad here. There's a bit of hesitation from that, too. And I think someone's realizing that, like, maybe hesitating in this was the wrong idea. Maybe trying to figure everything out was the wrong idea. Um, maybe someone learns that hesitation isn't always called for. And over here is the offer. Ace of Pentacles. Maybe once you st i think someone needed to realize that maybe something wasn't right and they had to open up with their emotions this could also be apology too because it's the page of cups and someone w might want to act like the empress to be nurturing loving could be also someone who's pregnant too and an offer is being given here now how are you going to end 2019 my dear cancers mm. Um, still keeping your fucking guard up, but I think it's not as bad as what it's going to be. I, I really feel like you're letting it down. It's not like my variation. It doesn't feel that way. I think after... I think... Someone needed to really get in tuned 
more with everything cancer in order to understand that they can finally let their guard down and possibly get this offer. I feel like you guys have been waiting for this for a while, too. Which is weird, because, like, the Seven of Cups never popped up for you, and you guys always have that with me, I swear. And you guys always have options. But this is the first time I haven't seen it, and it's like... Maybe all of these cups in the past are important because you just wanted this one pentacle. I don't know. But that's up to you guys. Um, but that's what the year carries along with you. And I hope to see you guys soon. And you guys take care. Bye-bye.